such a neat bite. You just feel them going, thrr, 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 bam. <laughs> so there he goes, there he goes. Uh, come on now. I had the man on there, buddy. That was the big one? Yeah, he was. So how, how deep of water is it right back there? Uh, oh, thump, thump. 14 feet of water right now. 14 feet. Yeah. That's the way you can tell that the uh, Goliath grouper bite is a uh, real slow, a slow bite. Slow, subtle bite. I'll tell you that the gag groupers are such an aggressive fish. Is he getting nervous? Big time. Oh, there he goes. Look at that rod tip. There he is. Oh, that's the one, buddy. Okay, got the God, I love this spot. Uh oh, he's got the jug. He's got huh? the jug. Oh, there's a thump. <laughs> you seem to get those big ones. Oh, How's your back doing? Oh, it's not doing well. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, the sun. Well, if we get the Kerosene Brothers to play <laughs> Dueling Banjos, we'll get him to pick that for a minute on this. Hey, I think, my, I, think I got the right one. Yeah. Buddy. This one could be the gag this here, too. Be I, here. Uh, I, I got a gag. I got a gag. Look at this gag. We're going to invite this guy uh, to there. Look at that Goliath. gag group. Oh, they're both Goliaths. Both Goliaths. <sighs> Man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is our herder brother's back right here. Both Goliaths. Oh, that gold color, man. What a pretty fish. These are small enough. I'm going to pull one up. Blair, look at the way the circle hooks get. I know, right in the corner right every time. The top of the corner of the mouth right there. You know, I think these guys are small enough here. I'd like to hold this one up and just show everybody what okay. they look like when we get the hook out. Now, right. You're not supposed to take possession of these fish and taking possession is th throwing them basically in the cooler. Yeah, these fish are federally protected. So you really want to be as careful with them as you oh, can. Oh, they got some sharp gill. Let's see. You got to love these circle hooks because, look, they just, if you get them just right, every time they're right in the corner of the mouth, so you're not <laughs> releasing them. Or what's the bottom hook? Boom. But Goliath. Grouper. <laughs> these are pretty fish. And uh, hopefully soon you might be able to keep one of these because they are tearing stuff up. Fishing on the in the Everglades, buddy. Get on out of here, dude. Totally unhurt. Well, what else you think's down there? <laughs> he said the <laughs> action was going to be hot from the get go. And uh, been everything's been live so far, right from the open of the show. So. Let's see what else is down there. I think there's a big one down you there. You think we can get a bait I on? I think so, yeah. Let's see. So that's the magic spot. Just with the doctor order, buddy. Where you at, right there? I'm um, a little over to the right a little. All right, I think I'm going with a full strike on this one. There he is. That's a good one. I think it's the Mac Daddy this guy is. <clears throat> it feels so like right, a lead anchor right at the bottom, bottom man. Oh. Uh oh. He knows he's hooked now. Was that a little head shake? <clears throat> These Goliaths move in, they kind of push all the groupers out. They just they <sighs> eat them. Wow. Oh man, this guy. That is a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he rocked me again. Old grouper trick there. Set the rock for him. He's like he went back in his hole. Well, while you're messing around with that big guy, I think I might have to put another bait in there. The he's water. out of his hole now. He's going again. There he goes. He doesn't know what he wants to do, <clears> does he? Must not be a very big hole. Oh, whoa. That was a head jerk. You know what? This guy is going to hurt me. I don't think he's happy. <sighs> they don't give up as quick as, quick as them little ones. <laughs> no, that one's full grown. There. What's the biggest one you got off of this spot? Uh, off of this spot, probably 60, 70 pounds. Yeah. I've uh, got several other spots that we, it's not uncommon to catch one four or 500 pounds. Yeah. If you can get them off the bottom, that's the hardest part. Four or 500 pounds. 100 pounds. Now, how many permit you think those guys eat a year? <laughs> I'd say 100. <laughs> oh. It's a nice fish, yeah. Man, this is a big guy. What do you call that, a mogan? A true mogan. <laughs> <laughs> Do they eventually do give up, though, don't they? Are you going to catch this fish or are you going to dance with him all day? Well, he's got this, uh, this thing, ain't never, this EXT ain't never been stretched like this. Wow, I don't know. If, I think he went into his hole again, all dude. All right, well. Let me 
Let's see if I can let him go slack. It seemed like he was coming up. Yeah, it sure did. They'll come up once they get tired, right? Uh-oh, he's rocked me. Come on, get out of there. This guy has put the sweat on me. Let's see if he comes out. I don't know if he's gonna come out this time. He ain't moving. Come on, dude, get out of there. I think he's, he is in there. Hey, Blair, let's uh, pull the anchor and move the boat and see if we can uh, finesse this guy out from his hole. Okay, well, we're done with this fish now. He's down in his hole. We're gonna try to get him out. Pull the anchor, I'm gonna pull on him from this side and try to put, tug him from this side. And if he doesn't come out this time, he's done. We might have to ride him off. <laughs> tell, me that Cape, tell me that Cape Fear ain't strong, brother. That's a rod bending. <clears throat> Come on up, buddy. Right there. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on, big dude. <clears throat> there he is. Look at that fish. It's a stingray! Oh, come on! <laughs> no way! No way! Oh, no. <laughs> a stingray. No wonder it was like a suction cup to the bottom. Look at the size of that. Oh. I'll stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. Unbelievable. Gag grouper on the surface. Who would have thunk it? And I tell you what, you can't ask for a better day. It's right at the end of the spring time's coming in right now. It's, oh, it's beautiful. Can't beat this weather, that's for sure. I think I got a dead bait on here. I think he saw those groupers down there and kicked the bucket. We were talking a little bit earlier, Brian and I were about these fish and why they're, why they're still here in this little shallow water. I'm gonna let him explain because he is the Chuckaleski kid. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with these uh, these groupers is uh, typically they they uh, migrate in from offshore during the winter months, and uh, oh, that was a nice one. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> and what happens is is they come in to feed uh, during the uh, the winter months, and uh, the uh, get over here. The, what happens with the bait is the bait actually moves offshore during those months. So what's going on now is uh, <laughs> little guy <laughs> the past two weeks. The bait has moved inshore, and the groupers are still here because of the abundance of bait. So they're not going to leave their food source, and uh, I think we've got about another two weeks of this, and the, these groupers will start to migrate offshore to a little bit deeper water. Go back offshore deep, eh? Yeah. When you're usually fishing grouper really, really deep, every 15 feet you go down is a di different atmosphere. So when you bring a fish up real quick, they blow it all out, and then you have to poke a hole in their air bladder just to send them back down. In this really shallow water like this, you don't have to. It does not hurt the fish one, one bit. It's 80 now, Mike. Damn! Did you see that? What was that? That was a grouper. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that was a grouper exploding on the surface. I would love to see that one on this bait. I hope y'all saw that out there just then. That was a grouper, a grouper skying on a bait. <laughs> skying on a bait. I think he bait. was a little confused. He thought he was a kingfish. You can see him swimming down here. Like that. Ooh, that's a nice one there. I like that. Uh oh. This one could be the one we invite back for dinner. That could be a real good one, Mr. Brian. He's pulling good there, Mr. Riggins. Uh, That's a good one there. He just feels like a good one. He thinks he's a good one. <laughs> no, I think, I think you're right. I think this guy is a little better. I think he's a good fish. The big fish that we saw a little earlier. Well, I can't ever get tired of doing it, I can tell you that. What's next on the agenda? What's next on our agenda for the afternoon is we're going to try our hand at some permit fishing, Blair. Well, you know what? This is a nice one. Yep. I think I know where they're living. This is some real nice fish. <laughs> You know, Brian, it's being April like this, the bass are spawning. <laughs> this is usually this time of year, there's freshwater bass are spawning. This is like uh, bass fishing in salt water in April. <laughs> <laughs> salt water bass fishing. Get on out of there. What a beautiful little fish. 
That'd be a good little grouper sandwich, but we're gonna let you grow up and be a Mogan. Get out of here. Right down to the bottom, right back home. That's a serious grouper then, huh? Gulf of Mexico grouper. Wow, bait is freaking out. This bait is sick. Oh, you got a hold of my big cape here. Yeah, I like this rod. There's a hit. Oh, that's a take. There's a good fish. <laughs> yes. That feels like a grouper. That does. It looks like a grouper. <laughs> Look, got a follower here. He's chasing me. Who, who, who says you need great big tackle to catch grouper? I see them go out 50 miles out in the ocean, and they wish they could get them like this. Look at this. Nice. What Look a beautiful that. fish. That circle hook, that eagle claw, right in the top of his lip, just where it's supposed to be. Nice fish. Oh. I can't believe how much these guys look, when I was a kid, how much these look like largemouth bass. I always wanted to go to a little pond after I went deep sea fishing where the cars would drive by get one about 30 pounds and pull him out of a little pond, but beautiful I think I had that fish. same pond when I was a kid. It was just a 150 miles south of where you grew up. Nice, these are beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna let him go back. See you, dude. And, we're gonna see if we can catch another one. <laughs> this is neat, Brian. Send a couple of them big baits down. I got some problems going on here. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's see what happens. I want that big one, this guy. That was a big fish. Oh, and he is nervous. Is he? Look at that rod tip. He can't get away from that grouper. Come on now. I want to feel a thump. Oh, I just felt the thump, I think. Nope. There he is. Boom, boom, boom. Get it? No. So much, I want to set that rod. There he is. Oh. Oh. Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. That could be a good one. I just want one to take back. Oh, and that could be him. <laughs> that was classic there. Mm. This could be of the gag style and of the gag-ish. Take home status. He's close. Can we invite him for a group of sandwich? We might have to invite him over for Easter dinner. Easter dinner. I think he's a little short, dude. He was a fun one, though. Right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, he's short. He's a pretty one. But yeah, we'll set him go. All right. See you, dude. Brian, I'll tell you what, brother. That's some awesome fishing. Y'all, y'all gotta give this a shot. You got to. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back with some more. Big permit. old permit. Permit, permit. One thing I've noticed with these permit is uh, they it's hard for the for a permit to eat a crab on the surface the way that their uh, their mouth is designed. They have a big sloping forehead mm -hmm. and a real small mouth. So what they have to do in order to eat a crab, they, they have to get it on top of it and push the crab down. Man, well, welcome back. As you can see, our conditions have just totally changed. Glad we're in the, glad we're in a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Thank glad God we're in a ranger. for this ranger bay boat. Man, permit all around. We're gonna do our best to show you one. Get their tails out of the water. See them rolling all over yeah. each other? 40, 50 feet. Right underneath that wave. Ah. I don't know if I can get there. Right here, right here. Oh, look at that. Don't look move, don't move, don't move. Welcome back, welcome crab back. Down to the bottom. Come on, crab, sink, sink, sink. Come on, sink. Right next to the boat. Look at this guy. We pull in shore to do a bait check, and he's catching these beautiful snook. Isn't that nice? Here, take the snook off. I'm going to do the bait check now. All right, I'm going to show you what we had for the uh, for the permit rig out there first. Just a simple little rig. We're using 25 pound test Momoi fluorocarbon leader, and um, what we're using for the circle hooks today are the octopus style number fours, and uh, they're definitely getting the job done with a permit. Permit candy was the bait today, and the rod of choice was the ADV 170 70s. It's the eight Advanced Tech series from Cape Fear, and I'm going to show you the 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 rig that we were really getting worked on 
was the ADV series rod from Cape Fear. They do make the less expensive model that doesn't have the real expensive guides on it. I think they call it the 187 series now. But um, just using Heron, dropping down on the bottom, and you saw them catching the grouper. It was, it was awesome. Not only were they catching the, the gag grouper, but the big goliaths that were coming up also. And that's your bait check for today. You come boat Brian, and I mean, he's gonna put you on the fish. My Adam. Fish on, there you go, Fish Brian. On, Way to go, buddy. Brian. Way to go. Way to go. Perfect. Come on now, let's get a double. Let's get a double. Look at how dark this fish is. Permies, baby, permies. He was taking line out like that bonefish. I fished a bonefish tournament down in Key Largo. Uh-huh. Actually won it. I think it was the first uh, one out of a Ranger Ghost, as a matter of fact. I think it was the first bonefish tournament one out of a Ranger Ghost. And uh, it was screaming off some line like that. That wind is a howling, ain't it? Sure is. <laughs> but you know what, Blair? My feet are dry. <laughs> Jeez, there we go with the feet again. <laughs> no, that's over mine. You've been resting a lot here. Well, all I've been hearing about is your back and your dry feet, so. <laughs> While you're fighting fish, you shouldn't be having the pain because the fish takes away the pain. At least my feet are dry. And his feet are dry. <laughs> wow, look at that beautiful fish. Woo. There he is. Look at that guy. Look at that fish. Come here, dude. Look at that. Permit, baby. I wish, once again, I wish y'all could feel, ooh, I wish y'all could feel the heat that comes off of this, just like a mirror reflecting up on me. That's neat. Look at that, a circle hook right in the corner of the mouth every time. Every time. <sighs> I almost smacked him in the head. Sorry about that, Mr. Permit. Roll that hook right on out. Dude, I hook him good? You hooked that fish absolutely beautiful. Well, hey, there's my view of that fish. Look at that. Look at him looking around. Whew. Blair, I, I've only got one question. I'm covering you up there. What's that? Can I catch another one? <laughs> I think it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> <sighs> Make sure he gets off good. Nice fish, man. I tell you what, this has got to be one of the best days that I have had in the Gulf of Mexico. Thank you, Brian. You're that welcome, brother. That was absolutely awesome. We've caught Goliath grouper, gag grouper, permit. Am I forgetting anything? How about those grouper that were skyrocketing on the baits behind never, the back of the boat? Never in my life like have that I before. seen that. That was incredible. If y'all ever want to do this, go to the website, addictivefishing.com. I know there's a lot to do on that website, but you can actually go and watch this show on streaming video over and over again. It's just a, just one of, my, one of my best days out here, I tell you. If y'all want to give it a shot, he'll be right there on that page, that same page with the videos running. You can book him. Come do this. Brian, thank you for a my great day. My back's a little sore from catching all those fish today. <laughs> well, let's go in. <laughs> See you next week. Golf of Mexico Grouper. That's awesome, awesome fish. That's permit fishing, brother.